Tulsa police have arrested two suspects in a pawn shop stabbing. Terry, the CDC is changing guidelines for health care workers treating patients with Ebola. Nurses in Dallas say they weren't prepared. Police say a distracted driver caused a crash that killed a green country girl. Eight-year-old Caitlin Chambers died in a four-vehicle pileup on Highway 169 near Owasso last month. News on 6 reporter Tess Bonney joins us with the latest. Just hours after a defeat in his primary re-election bid, House Majority Leader Eric Cantor told GOP leaders he would step down as leader on July 31st before finishing his term. What do you think the researchers would find on your phone, Mr. Farrell? <laughs> <laughs> An phone. old phone is what they would find. Pretty quick study, huh? <laughs> Just. Yeah, it wouldn't take long on my phone, that's for sure. But anyway... Someone almost hit me because they were texting and driving, so I have no problem calling police if you do. I have a photographic memory of license plates, <laughs> so please be careful when you're out there. Now that we know that, yes. tell us what you think on, on my Facebook soapbox. and Twitter. Yeah, yeah, good. Step down. Don't hurt yeah, yourself. Yeah, I know. Use the hashtag OKTalk. Tulsa police need your help finding the people who stabbed a man in his back near 8th Street and Utica Avenue. Television, cable and satellite companies, and then airlines. It seems like my friends are always having trouble with airlines. And airlines you should get a pretty good response too. <laughs> Do you get a free ticket? I don't. Did it's they? It's never worked for me. <laughs> so, but I have never had much complained trouble. though. They're usually nice to me. Well, for now. Because you're Charlie. That's not even wood. <laughs> that's wood. Okay. There you go.